A little devil going through hell. One-year-old clownfish was found injured by volunteers from Save the Tasmanian Devil program. She had a big chunk of skin missing from her front leg. We're not really sure exactly how, how it sustained the injury. Um, yeah, it might have been caught in a trap or might have been um, involved in a road accident. Clownfish had such little skin left on her leg, vets were unable to stitch her up. There's a fair risk of infection when there's, there's not good skin coverage for such a long period of time. So, um, yeah, I guess the, the odds were stacked against the devil for, for quite a while there. Amputation would have reduced the risk of infection, but the team opted to try and save the leg by bandaging the wound and letting it heal naturally. The whole treatment process probably took a good eight to ten weeks. Millimetre by millimetre, the wound eventually began to heal until the bandages came off and clownfish could walk again. In our line of work, you grasp at victories. You know, they, they're the fuel for your fire, basically. That's what keeps you striving. Clownfish was taken to a reserve near Buckland, east of Hobart, and released back into the wild. It is really nice when a collective group of people, and so many people were involved in this case, can really just give their all to save an animal and give back to an animal. An injured devil shows up at Bonnerong roughly once a month. In the wild, there's now less than 15,000 of them, an 80% reduction in the past 20 years, due largely to facial tumour disease, dogs and traffic. Bonnerong is hoping 2022 might be the year those numbers start to turn around. Take five minutes, you know, sit under a tree, watch a bird and say, what are two or three things I can do this year to be better at living alongside wildlife? Will Murray, ABC News.